Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video and today I want to speak about the recent update of Cadence Blocks 3.1 specifically I'll speak about the advanced form block during this release the team has introduced an advanced form block that will help us create different types of forms inside our WordPress website without the need to use or install a separate form plugin this uh, release 3.1 included different uh, features and advanced form block progress bar and some editing settings but in this video i'll speak only about the advanced form block which is a free addition to the cadence blocks free plugin so uh, to access the advanced form block make sure that you are updating your cadence blocks plugin to at least 3.1 as you can see i have updated mine to 3.1.11 to make sure that i am uh, using the latest release of cadence blocks now let me show you how you can actually use the advanced form block the first feature that you will notice is that now under uh, accounts blocks we have a new item called all forms when we click here this is the place where we will where we can uh, actually create and design all of our forms in one place and then we can populate these forms in different pages and sections inside our wordpress website i think this is a brilliant idea because now we have one place that includes all of our forms whatever form you create and now when you make change in one of these forms in this section this, ch this change will be populated or will be updated across all of the places where you have actually inserted this form now to create a form of course we can still can add a forms while we are creating our pages but i prefer that to you start by creating a form in this uh, section because now forms for cadence are a custom post type so now let's start by adding a new form so let's click add new and let's give this form a name here as a custom post type now we need to um, choose a layout we have three steps here we need to choose a layout then a style and then add a title for the block that we can grab or um, use when we want to insert this block or this form in any section inside our wordpress website so let's start with a basic um, layout something like this and the style i'll choose also a basic um let's give this uh contact form demo too because i have tested another one before and here we can add a description but this description will not show up in any other place only in this place so let's click create so this is the first um basic layout that i um receive once i start creating a contact form something like this now uh, let me open the toggle document now we have in this page or this custom post type we have an advanced form and inside the form we have a roll out and we have two fields the message and the submit field now if you want to add another field you'll find that you can hover over here you click here you'll find three tabs or four tabs actually standard fields advanced fields and the laid out options and miscellaneous so now we have with this advanced form look we can add a text field an inf, an email field text area to add something like a message a telephone field radio button select checkbox number and for the advanced fields we have a file upload functionality which is an amazing feature some uh, form plugins will ask you to upgrade to their premium version if you want to upload files we can add a time field date field hidden field and accept something for a gdbr and for the layout this will help us like add a roll out sections to help us like define the layout like a two column layout three column layout for any section of our form as well for the miscellaneous we can add a submit button and a recapture uh, the recapture has been added like um, we can use um, google version 2 google version 3 turn style and uh, edge capture but i just i'd like to uh, delete these for now now let me try to add a field so now we have a name field a email field a text field let's try to add like one for a date one for the um, um, time and one for the phone number to add this i like to start by clicking the plus button and then choose a layout and then choose a roll out i'll make this three column roll out and and inside each of these sections i'll be adding a name a field a specific field so let's start by adding our date field to add a field you simply click here you can uh, browse all you'll find here all the fields that can be added for this block so let's add like a date field so let's grab this here now we have a date field under each field you'll find like a general tab and an advanced tab most of the time most of these fields include the same um, general settings field control if you want to make this required if you want to add a, uh, a field label something like i like to give this like choose a date 
if you want to show the label if you want to hide it you can just do this from here you can add a description here of course you can add even a default value and this becomes handy in some specific situations for example if you want to uh, the logged in users to complete their forms now if you want to add a, um, a time here we can just click here again browse all and let's grab the time so let's where is the time so let me this is the time field let me add it here if we want to add like a phone field we can just you know search for it here this is the phone field here now and let's add our tables uh, label sorry field we add this like date uh, sorry time time and for this let's choose our phone or add our phone number now we have our name field email field maybe you need to move this message field you can just click here to make it go under the field now our our form has three fields let me go let me add another one let's say that we want to add an address field for this part we can just click here and or click, even click here and search for the text field i think we can use the text field here and let's call this address and also the under the advanced we can make that under the extra settings we can make this default um, field to be filled with like the address line one so if this is an a logged in user the user will be added i mean the address line will be added automatically in this field now we have our name email and uh, address field let's take this over here so now we have this uh, contact form if we want to add like a field name we can uh, uh, a attach field for example you can just click here and let's add a field let me add a field here we can say choose a file maybe something like up, uh, upload your cv and here in the when it comes to choosing or the field options we have the options to again to make this required for example change the label for the file options we can choose uh, the file size limit uh, this will depend on i think how memory the memory limits you have added inside your wordpress database we can choose what type of files that we can upload or the users upload documents and zip files are fine for me i don't like to upload video and audio because this adds some extra storage to my database now let's click update so this is how our form may look like so now these are all the fields relevant to i mean we can of course add different fields to this form but i want, don't want to go through each one of these because most of them are similar i mean you can just if you want to add something you can just click here choose the field and add it to uh, whatever place you need if you want to add like a, a an accept for something for a gdpr you can make this here you can make this uh, you can add a label here if you like you can add a yes i agree if you want to just give them an option option to agree um you don't need to add a label i think here you may can make this required so they need to disagree or agree and then click update so these are all the individual fields of the form now the form itself has its own global styling options to access this make sure that you are choosing the form field so let's make sure that we are choosing the form here and now we have similar options to the old contact form or the old form uh, when it comes to submit actions uh, email settings uh, but when it comes to style we have different types of styles here for example you can uh, change the input color or change actually the input background so let me click here and make this something like this as you can see now the background of the inputs is updated with this beautiful color here we can change the border settings let's make this to pixels and we can even add a box shadow to this so we can have this beautiful looking box shadow for the input fields uh, also we can have for the labels we have here like if we want to change the label color we can make this from here let's make this something like red if we want to change this um, let me just get back here if you want to uh, show an asterisk if you want to hide the asterisk you can even change the asterisk color from here with something like this of course you can change the font size if you are adding a radio button let me add a radio button here so let's take this like down and let's take this down and let's say that we want to add like an option suppose that this is like something like a job application and you want people to choose whether they need to add like a, a choose a senior position or a junior position you can easily do this again let's add a uh, a checkbox or a radio field so let's add a you know what let's add a radio field so let's add like choose 
choose your position so let me check choose your this is a fancy just position position now sorry for this now we can add our options so let's see option one junior and you can add another option called senior and let's click update now when you go to advanced form again and when you go to the check boxes we can have here other options to change the label colors of the radio buttons something like this we can change it to be something like this as you can see now the options of the radios has been changed so these are all the options and one of the um the nice settings here you can find it under advanced not advanced let me look for it here under this and the style there is a very nice this the label layout now we have three um label layout styles this is the normal one if you choose the infield now you find the labels the name email uh, are inside the field itself there is another one called float label now it means that now the label is inside the field but when you click here you'll find now the label name itself has become a, at the top of the field itself this is something like i think beautiful i like this uh, layout so now let's go back again to for the form advanced um, settings now for the um, submit sack i mean another feature that i really like is the hide from after hide form after submit well sometimes uh, the people who fills or completes our forms are get confused that this form um, is sent already or not um, hiding the form makes them like feel that okay this action the uh, they have already completed the form so i like usually to not to hide actually but redirect people because under submit actions we have here for the free version we have redirect mailer light and fluent crm integration so we can if we choose to redirect people we can now have we'll have a new option called the redirect and this is an old option in the form block now we can choose uh, to redirect people once they complete the message uh, they complete the form they can uh, they will be redirected into another page and but what's uh, really cool about this new update is now we have an integration this is relevant to the pro version of cadence blocks if you have the pro version you can uh, have access to con you can connect this or can integrate the form with convert kit and active campaign which is a new uh, which are two new integrations that has been introduced in the cadence blocks 3.1 um, so this is how you can actually add uh, uh, forms inside cadence blocks now let me show you how we can you know um insert these forms inside any of our pages so let's let me go back to our wordpress dashboard and add a new page and show you how you can actually choose this form inside any of your pages so this is a standard uh, page inside my wordpress website if i want to add the form that i have already designed i just click here search for the advanced form and click add it here and now i can choose from one of my redesigned forms or even i can create a new one which will be added automatically to the list of forms so i think we created this contact form demo 2 i just click here and select it and as you can see now the form has been added inside this page automatically and of course any change i make the foot, uh, to the form inside this page will be reflected or will be automatically updated or added to the original form i have created so this is how you can actually use the advanced form block which was introduced in the cadence blocks 3.1 release i think this is a great addition for the users of cadence blocks now we can decrease the number of plugins that we need to use to create something like contact form opt-in forms and different types of forms if you like this video please give me a like and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single day now thank you so much and see you in the next video